And for a young single guy, it's like, you know, yeah. there's stuff to do. Yeah, we were in another episode. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. 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 <laughs> Howdy. Get out of the camera. That's right, it's first Friday. That's right, it's out of the box. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a plan. Thank you. Most of his work is about having what it takes to stand up in a difficult situation. This piece is really uh, is so strong, and I kind of see it about um, giving up and how few people can do that, and how important it is to do it. And I, I really love his stuff. Hi, Dan. Howdy. What do you need a show? I'm sorry? What do you think of the show? Oh, man, it's awesome. It's fantastic. It's a good show. Why? Why? Because there's diversity in, in human form. There's so much emotion that is expressed through, through these figures. Um, and the palette, I love the palette. A lot of earth tones, but then it also goes to the other end where you get some more reds and, and that in there that kind of offset that mood. So I love the, the, the range of emotions I'm getting as I go through it.
time, it's time once again for your favorite music event of the year. Your favorite music and art event of the year. Tonic Ball and Tonic Gallery, which everybody knows. Thank you very much. Which everybody knows takes place on the Friday before Thanksgiving. But we figured we would do something interesting and special this year, since this was Tonic Ball number nine, number nine, number nine. And we would announce tonight, with a concert on the rooftop, that this was going to be, as our friend Josie Jeffries is untying the banner right now, Tonic Ball number nine, featuring the music of the Beatles. November 19th, and we hope you can sort of see the banner in the wind. <laughs> and in the spirit of Tonic Ball and the Beatles, we would like to say you are beautiful, you are all beautiful, and please give it up for the band of the hour, number nine. either in the past or in the future, whichever way you want to look at it. I, d I did get some painted lady butterflies from a science company for a while and noticed that as they were going along, I think eight out of the 12 actually survived to adulthood. And so it's really hard. It's a hard life. It's a hard to, to get through each step. And when they do get through, that, there's such beauty and joy in that. And so personal significance is just in, in my lifetime when the downs are there. It's kind of the time where, you know, am I going to survive? And I'm going through a cocoon, but then some, something happens and you come out and, and things are good and life is moving and around you. 